How to say no without feeling guilty. Saying no can often bring up fears of rejection, confrontation, or abandonment. However, saying no is also a very powerful tool to have. You no longer have to take on too much work, no longer have to spend time doing what you hate, and so on. Once you are confident and feel able to say no, then you are more in control of your life than ever before. This can help you create even more healthy boundaries and healthy relationships in the long run. 1. Assess the times you have said no. There has to be a preconceived notion as to why you feel guilty about saying no at all. The first step is to assess if you feel guilty because of a situation that has happened with you or if it was something portrayed in society. Shows can portray saying no to someone as extremely dramatic, heartbreaking, or something along those lines. It can portray the character that said no as guilty and the bad guy. This makes many people believe, often subconsciously, that they must feel this way if they say no to something or someone. In reality, it is almost never this extreme. You are not a bad person for saying no to someone or something. You are simply setting your personal boundaries. Also, you saying no to that person will not ruin their life. And even if it did, that is not your responsibility. By examining where this idea came from in your life could help you break it down. Once things are broken down, they seem much less intimidating and often much more easy to conquer. 2. Do it on your time. Nothing is easy to say no matter how simple when on someone else's timeline. If there is a deadline, it often makes people more nervous even if they know what they are going to say. So don't try to confine to anyone else's deadline. This is setting a boundary that you are in charge of yourself and your time. Doing things at your own convenience could help you become more comfortable saying what you really want to. Pressured people tend to crack and say what they think they should, not what they want to. Non-pressured people are free from that spiral. Making yourself more comfortable will help you feel less guilty or ideally not guilty when telling someone no. This can also go along with your boundaries that you may have set. Setting time boundaries gives you so much more control over your life. 3. Practice It may sound really silly to practice saying no to yourself in the mirror, but it can truly work for some people. There are those who state that looking at yourself in the mirror and saying something will make it easier to say and or easier to believe. For many, this seems to be a very real thing. Rather than just build your self-confidence in saying what you want to, it will also show you what you look like when you say it. This could help to ease some concerns about coming across as mean or rude. If you're worried about sounding rude, then you can also experiment with different ways of how to say no to others. One may work out perfectly. In the end, you have to feel comfortable with yourself and your boundaries in order to feel no guilt when saying no. This could take a long time depending on where you're starting, but each time you achieve telling someone no, your confidence is going to skyrocket. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.